we've talked about this, and uh, so we've talked about bringing boudoir into your business. A lot of people watching today are going to be primarily wedding photographers or portrait photographers looking to bring boudoir into their company. So you need to think about it as a new business. You can't just go out there and think, I'm a wedding photographer and I'm going to throw boudoir in the mix and it's going to work. You have to start over. You have to start from the beginning again. Um, as wedding photographers first, we started introducing it really slowly. And you and talked about how we were a little bit more conservative with it. We were shy to show our full message because we do come from a conservative area um, and just shot a few here and there. But it got lost. It got muddled. The message got lost. The work got lost. So what we had to do when we realized is we had to go back to square one and start over. So to make it a new business, the first thing you have to do, you have to have a new website. You have to have a new blog. You have to have, have new social media for this element of your company. It's very confusing for your clients who are coming to book you for baby photos and then to see a naked butt on the screen next to it. So separate them. Have a new website for your work. And by having a dedicated space for your boudoir, you're also showing that you specialize in this genre. You're not a catch-all photographer. You're not just picking it up. You're taking the time to research, learn how to do it, and do it properly, and that you are specializing in it through the use of your website. You also need to have a fairly substantial portfolio when you're starting bringing boudoir into your company. When you're shooting weddings, it's fairly easy to only put up a couple and for people to book you. Because they say, yep, you can shoot a bride. Yep, you can shoot a groom. Great, I'm going to book you. So with this, um, but with boudoir, you need to have an extensive amount of work to show that people, A, know they can trust you, B, that it's acceptable, and C, so that they can see what you are talking about when you say things like, yes, you're going to be nude, but you're maybe not actually going to be see any, seeing anything. Um, so one of the most common concerns we get and whenever we talk about portfolios, people say, well, how do you get people to let you show work? How do you, is that a problem? I see a lot of nodding heads here. Um, answer is go out and get it. Practice. And I know that seems silly. It seems like um, a simple thing. But it's not like a wedding where your bride says, yeah, go ahead, throw it up online. Boudoir, you're going to have to hunt a little bit harder. Go ask your friends. Hire models. Make sure you have a release form. Do everything you can to build up that large portfolio and make sure that you're protecting yourself at the same time by having the release form to have that out there. The more work you have, the more your clients will trust you. So you need to have a decent sized portfolio for that to have it. Um, one amazing thing about boudoir is the spread of referral. It's very much a, a referral-based business. If you think about it, a, a bride at a wedding maybe conservatively knows two or three other brides getting married that year who she can pass your name along to, your boudoir client is going to tell 5, 10, 15, 20 women she knows about that experience. So with that portfolio as well, you need to be able to have your clients out there showing off their work, becoming your champions, becoming your referral system. And is the more, more clients you can get into your portfolio, the more uh, pride they feel as well.